Today on 21st Century Business, explore state-of-the-art technology, innovative business strategies, insights from cutting-edge corporations around the globe, a visionary look into the answers of tomorrow today. Business leaders, business solutions, 21st Century Business. Today we're discussing something no less important than the actual recreation of the World Wide Web. We call it Web 3.0. Web 3.0 means never having to type anything with your fingers anymore for doing searches, transacting business on the internet, even on apps you download. It means using your voice for everything. Your world is changing and we're going to hear about it today. It's called Natural Language Understanding and Processing. And Shai Lieb, CEO and founder of Ask Ziggy Incorporated, is here to tell us about this solution for developers who want to use this feature. Welcome to 21st Century Business, Shai. Thank you for having me. Shai, no typing? Really? Web 3.0, what are you talking about? That's right, Jackie. What we want to do is we want to redefine the user experience on websites and on mobile apps across the world. And what we feel is that by using speech and understanding what people say, we can help them avoid all that typing that they do right now on the applications. Just think back to when you're booking a hotel and you spend up to five to six minutes putting in your booking information, even your credit card information. Mm -hmm. Well, you can do that all through speech. Hmm. And so by doing that, you literally cut down maybe a hundred words of typing in five, six minutes of your time down to less than a minute just by speaking. And that's what developers can do using our technology is that they're able to add this new user interface feature onto the existing apps and empower their users to use natural language now to be able to complete transactions on e-commerce sites and search for information and get instant answers back. Shai, what solutions does Ask Ziggy offer these developers? In essence, what does your company do for them? Well, Ask Ziggy is a virtual assistant platform API. It's driven by speech. And what we've done is we've taken all the technology, all our algorithms based on natural language understanding and machine learning, and we package this into a portal that developers can access. Now, they can access this in a self-service way. They can upload specific keywords and categories that they want to capture through speech, and they can also define several example phrases. And by doing this, then we apply our special sauce onto this, and after a couple of minutes, they're actually able to test online how somebody can do a speech query on their application and the results that they would get back without writing a single line of code. Just after a couple of minutes? Just after a couple of minutes. We've literally taken this, this technology and we've automated it for the developer. The developer does not have to get a PhD in machine learning or natural language processing. And once they're done and they're satisfied with the results, all it takes is two lines of code to integrate into their application. So one of the things that we wanted to avoid, one of our core uh, features of this, is that we didn't want the app developer to have to refactor their application. It can be an existing application. It can look the same way. All they would need to do is drop a little microphone icon that taps into our cloud-based API, and they're able to enable it with speech and natural language understanding. Wow. Shai, who are some of your partners? I know you have some pretty big ones. That's right, and currently right now we're working with AT&T. We're co-marketing our API platform with our speech recognition platform. They also have a customer profile API, and this is very interesting. We have an app called Say It, Book It, which is a travel, it's a voice-driven travel assistant application, and it's based on our API. We, we developed it as a case study, and uh, one of the things about this which is really interesting is that if you're an AT&T mobile customer, if you plug in your phone number, all you have to do is say, use my AT&T booking or information, and now you can book a form automatically that's pre-populated with your AT&T customer information. Mm -hmm. And so those are just some of the areas that we're partnering with AT&T. Um, and working together. Mm -hmm. Other companies, uh, there's Copen Corporation, which is, uh, has created something known as the Golden Eye, and this is a hands-free headset, and you may have heard of Google Glass, perhaps, mm -hmm. and Google Glass is something that Google's creating. It's a very consumer-based version. The Golden Eye is really based for light industrial use, so if you're a fireman or a policeman or a paramedic, what it is, you wear it on your head, you have cameras, you have speech recognition, and our software, our platform, is literally embedded on the device. So this is a completely hands-free solution uh, using our platform. So if you're a paramedic, you can pull up patient files using our software and saying, oh, I need this person's patient files. Wow. Or also, let's say you're a fireman. 
there's a, uh, an accessory that's an infrared camera. And if you're trying to find out there's somebody behind a wall in a burning house, you can literally say, is there anybody in this room? We will take that natural language and break it down to specific keywords and say, is there an actual heat signature behind this wall? And then I'll come back with feedback to the firemen. So these are some of the applications that you can now use with our technology and on these will, devices. And it will speak back. It will speak back. And it will show the heat signatures of people that are there. And this is also in combination with working with Verizon as well. Amazing. You know. Shai, what makes your API so unique? It seems to me, at least, unique mm -hmm. in a number of ways. That's right. There are, there are several companies out there that perform the same type of functionality for customers, but what makes ours very different is that we've created a self-service portal. So you don't have to understand the, the underlying technology. Uh, like I mentioned before, you don't have to take a graduate course in natural language processing. Very complicated field with a lot of math and algorithms. And so what we've done is if you understand your application, your domain in which you're working in, you can configure an application without even talking to us online. You go on, on the portal and you're able to configure everything that you need. The great thing about this is it's a learning system. So the more and more users that use it, the more data that we collect about how people speak into your application, we're actually able to learn how to better grab that information from them. And we can actually tune and we can pick up on more words that people use mm -hmm. and also different nuances of phrases. And so this is how it becomes really a, a really beneficial system for the developer mm. uh, because it continues to improve over time. Amazing. Yeah. How are you and Priceline Partner Network working together? Yeah, well, Priceline Partner Network and us have decided to create an application called Say It, Book It. And Say It, Book It, again, is a voice-driven, uh, speech-enabled uh, travel assistant application. And what we do on the back end is we use 200,000 hotels, that's part of the inventory of the Priceline Partner Network, to be able to help people book hotels. So we have one of the biggest, largest inventory of hotels that's out there, comparable to some of the most popular uh, applications that are, that are there in, on the web. Mm. And what we do is we allow a person to say something like, oh, I need to book a hotel in Boca Raton, but I want free breakfast, I want a pool. Um, oh, make sure that there's a mini bar, and I want some babysitting. And just by saying those things, we're able to filter those as criteria for the hotels that you want, and bring it back, and you're able to book a hotel within less, less than two minutes. Amazing. All through speech. Amazing. Can you give us some examples of how businesses could use your technology? Yes, I can. Well, imagine uh, all the developers that are out there that already have existing apps. And let's say someone has created a music streaming app, something very similar to Pandora. Mm -hmm. And right now, in order to search for a song, you have to, again, click through some screens. You have to type in a search on an actual search form. Yeah. But what if, what if you could say something like, I feel like listening to an artist that I can play air guitar to. And so <laughs> that's something that the application currently does not understand. But what we do with our technology, we're able to take that air guitar and tie that into a genre of, let's say, psychedelic rock or rock and roll. <laughs> and so we can actually make the suggestion back to the app developer through code to bring up some of those artists such as Jimi Hendrix. And so this creates a whole new experience of using the application. The same thing with one of our partners with AT&T. We're talking about, uh, they have AT&T U-verse. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about creating a speech-enabled AT&T U-verse app where you can search for shows on cable or on regular TV. Imagine being able to say, oh, I feel like watching something that I'm gonna roll on the floor laughing, and the Big Bang Theory comes up. And so again, this is using natural language and being able to tie it into specific results. Interesting. Yeah. And, and that strikes me as so different from some of the other voice recognition programs that I've dealt with, often that are turning voice to text, where mm -hmm. you certainly can't use your own language and you have to be extraordinarily precise for it to even come close to comprehending your meaning. That's right. <laughs> a lot of the applications use specific keywords, and if you go off the rails and you use different words, oftentimes it doesn't understand what you're saying. Not at all. That's right. In our case, again, we use our algorithms. We're able to match words that are similar in meaning, and so it's just like having a conversation with somebody and how you're able to pick up on the meaning of what somebody is saying, and that's what we do on the back end. Shai, what are some of the things we can look forward to seeing from Ask Ziggy in the future? Well, you know, as customers use our application, our platform more and more, we actually get smarter and smarter. And we're able to help companies actually make suggestions for products and services that are relevant to their own customers. So in the end, everyone's happy and they're able to gratify their customers a lot more. Hmm.
you know, Shai asks Ziggy appears to be a perfect match for developers who've been looking mm -hmm. for a natural language solution, but it just wasn't available before. Thanks for telling us about it. Thank you, Jack. It was glad to be here. For 21st Century Business, I'm Jackie Bales. Thanks for watching.